happy Monday. Yeah, hello. This is uh, this is going to be fun. This is Eldari versus Grey Knights. Uh, yep. We are doing a proper terrain layout today with lots of obscuring. Yep. My goal is to take down the Kill Chris sign finally. Chris, when was the last time you lost a match on the channel? Other um, than Admech. Um, I think I lost against... Oh, was it on the channel? Your Tau? No. I think it was on the channel. Chris has not lost a game in a very long time. Uh, and someone has to put him in his place, and those are going to be the Sons of Titan themselves, the are boys they, in grey. Are they the ones that have already lost against me twice with yes. a similar list yes, off camera? Yes, quite. But today, it's all going to change. And we're going to take down Rip, Burn, whatever, the Kill Chris sign, because we have primary... Uh, so we're going to be a bit, primary mission priority targets. Yep. Uh, so up to 10 BP per turn for controlling objectives and then 15 the end of the game where I'm going to have loads more left than Chris's, which is going to be wicked and that's where I'm going to win. Uh, hidden supplies for our mission rule. So we've got an extra objective marker. We'll talk yeah. about it in the deployment. Uh, and then Dawn of War. Yeah. Chris, how confident are you feeling going into this game? Uh, I saw your list changed a bit from last time I played it and I think it's going to be easier for me to kill a lot of stuff. I've got a lot of confidence that today is the day. Stick around, wish us luck. Wish me luck, not him. And uh, and let's have a look at the armies and then come back for deployment. Yep, cool. I've been talking quite a bit of smack about taking out Chris today. And uh, he just looked at my army and laughed and said, this is worse than the last one. Let's see what we can do. Let's talk about it. Uh, we've got five Terminators over here with the Librarian. He has first to the fray. He can deep strike turn one. That's quite a nice thing. Let's see if I can make Chris trip up if he makes a mistake. Shouldn't have just reminded him of that. Castle and Crow, leaning up 10 purifiers, of course, with four uh, flamers. Ooh. Yeah, purifying flame. We get double the amount of shots when Crow's in there. That should wipe out, hopefully, some uh, little elvish guys. I hope. Uh, five Terminators with uh, Drago. Kaldor Drago, chapter master. He uh, has a once per game, plus three inches to his charge, and he can should be able to smack up demons quite well, which... He didn't last time. He, he didn't, didn't play last time. We didn't throw it. Chris, thanks. Uh, Grandmaster and Nemesis Dread Knight, he's got the Sigil of Exigence today. Um, he's got a hammer. I know it looks a bit like a sword, but it's not. It's, it's just, just tender a, sideways. Exactly, he's tender sideways, and he's going to bonk something on the head with it. Uh, we have a unit of five Strike Marines hiding up over here. They have sticky objectives, and they have Scout 6. So hopefully if I go first, I'll be able to push up the board a little bit with those guys. Down here, another five Strike Marines. Another five Terminators with a Librarian. Um, just for ease across this army, we've got a Apothecary and an Ancient in each of these. Just gives me an extra OC and means I can bring one back at the end of my command phase. And then lastly, five Interceptors. I have not used these guys, <laughs> I think, since the start of 10. Generally, not what we want. But uh, they do have 12 inch move, they do have fly, uh, and they can move 6 inches after shooting, and I think I'm going to try and outmaneuver the old Christopher today. So, we are bringing 2,000 points of Eldar again. It is the same list because, hey, if it's not broken, <laughs> don't change it. No, no, but, but it is broken, Chris. <laughs> I'm, it was broken. This is an outdated <laughs> list now. I think That's... you'll find it is very fair and balanced, and I get to do lots and lots of damage, yeah, which is should, always Should we good. ask Tom how the last game went? How did it go, Tom? It was good, right? Nice and fair and balanced? No, terrible. Okay, so we'll go through this nice and fair and balanced army. So, first off, we have the Autark Wayleaper. He has the Dragon Fusion Gun, the Howling Banshee Mask, and the, and the uh, Starglaive, cause, and he's my warlord, so... Of course he is. Why wouldn't you want to spend 115 points on a model that fight, fights first, has a good Melter Gun, which you can auto six on Overwatch, and generates CP each turn, yes. with low knob. Yes. And lots of movement. Yeah, it's quite it's good, great. isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Next we have the Avatar of Kane. He is just a big boy who likes to hit things hard and takes a yeah. lot of hits. He's quite good as well, isn't he, Chris? Yeah, he's quite good. Yep. When, when we played that off-camera yeah, game, yeah, yeah, how, yeah. how let's, did let's, Mr. Carl Drogo yeah, uh, do let's against not, him, Let's right? not talk about that one. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. We'll skip that for now then. And then we have a Farseer, just because, well, having a few sixes and fake dice isn't enough. We need to change a few yeah, yeah, yeah. to sixes as well. Yeah. Then we have a Spirit Seer, because why would you take race without a Spirit Seer? Yeah, of course. Because who doesn't like lethals and plus one to hit and bringing yep. them back? Yep. Cool. So, that's our ca those are characters. In Battle Lion, we have a unit of 10 Guardian Defenders. They have a Bright Lance, because it's a nice big gun that shoots a long distance True. and can hit things hard. Then, on to others. We'll start off with two Night Spinners. I should not run two. They are not that good anymore. I'd say one is enough. But 
I couldn't be asked to paint anything quite, else. Up. Quite good in this matchup, though, aren't they, Chris? Yeah, they are quite good in this matchup. Yep. Right, next up, we have two units of Shadow Spectres. These guys are amazing, 95 points. They, they're Terminator Killers. They have stealth, they can deep strike, they can move after shooting. They're yep. pretty good. Next, we have a unit of five Super Hawks. And our Exarch has the Aldari Power Sword and the Hawk's Talon. Not that it matters, because they do no damage whatsoever. But they are nifty. Yes, but they pretend to be Grey Knights, which is... Uh, yes, funny. Yeah, very funny. <laughs> Next, we have two units of Warp Spiders. Uh, yeah, Devilwood Flamers, pretty good. Yes. Plus 24-inch movement. Yes. Pretty good. Yes. And then, finally, we have our unit of 10 Wraith Guard, just nice bulky boys who uh, I will not get wrong this time and I will not use lightning fast reactions on them. Cool. Bring it, Chris, <laughs> bring it. <laughs> and yeah, that's uh, 2,000 points of Eldar. Right, you've seen what I have to do, which is to take down the Eldar, not at their peak, but still bloody good. Chris, should we roll up to, oh, let's check out our deployment first. Yeah. Let's, let's build up to it before we roll up to see who goes first. Do you want to tell us where you've deployed? You're not going to be able to see a lot of it because of these funny ruins that we've got. Yep. So, uh, we start off in Deep Strike. Yep. We have two units of Shadow Spectres and a unit of five Warp Spiders. Yes, sir. Because they're very good to just Deep Strike and grab stuff. They are, and burn um, stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we'll start going from left to right on my side. So, far left, behind this obscure in here, we have five Warp Spiders. Hopefully they can jump about quickly and grab stuff. We have our 10 Wraith Guard with the Spirit Seer. Yep. Hopefully move up and kill something. Yep. Uh, behind this obscure in here, we have one Light Spinner. Then right in the center, out in the open. He's not we have worried, the is he? This is how confident Chris is. I'm not worried about any <laughs> of your ranged attacks. <laughs> the new Psy Cannon's all right. Is it? It's not Avatar, Avatar worthy. Worthy. No, no, it's Great. not. Let's be honest. No. Right, then back here with his lone op, standing in the open, taunting you, we have our Autark. He's a bit taunting, isn't Skyleaper. he? Yes. Yeah. Then inside, well, this obscure in here, just tagging the objective, we have our 10 Guardian Defenders with our Farseer. Yep. So we can start generating some more, more um, Come on, fates. Point. Oh, fate dice. fate dice. Yeah. Which you love. No, I hate. Then we have our another, another Night Spinner here behind obscuring. Why not? We're in direct. We... We'll try and kill some two wound guys you, with two wound dev wounds. Pro probably will, won't you, Chris? Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. And then over here on this flank, we have our five swooping hawks. Yes. Honestly, just to be on that flank, they don't really do anything. No, but they might go and grab that objective over there. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Might, might do. We'll see how I feel. Well, the Grey Knight side, and I apologise because if you're on the top down, you probably actually won't be able to see a lot of this. We'll get some in-game shots as we go. We have tried doing that with the last game or two, so let us know if that's better or if it doesn't make any difference at all. Off the board, we have uh, the Librarian with First of the Fray and his retinue of five Terminators. We have Castellan Crow and his ten Purifiers. Ooh. Yeah, don't boo me. Uh, and we have Caldor Drago with his five Terminators. On the board, uh, over here, we've got some interceptors. Hopefully you'll be able to see them a tiny bit. They've got 12 inch move. Um, they can uh, do a free six inch move after they've shot. Storm Bolters for the win, hopefully today, if I can actually see any of Chris's squishy stuff. Hiding in the second floor of this, uh, obscuring terrain, we have a unit of five strike marines, kind of doing what Chris is doing, just tagging this objective. We've got Sticky with that unit, which is quite nice. Yep. Chris doesn't. That won't come up at all. Uh, over here, five Terminators hiding behind this obscuring terrain with a Librarian. Yep. Uh, we've got a Nemesis Dreadknight Grandmaster hiding over here. He's the one with Sigil of Exigence. And we've got five Strike Marines over here. We do have scout moves with, um, with those dudes, which is why I'm setting them up a little bit aggressively and we'll see if they can get anywhere. So if you get the first turn, they're moving up. If you exactly. don't, they're hiding like cowards and getting shot by indirect fire. Now we should say, and there is some tournament terrain coming once Tom sorts whinging about how hard it is to make, uh, that a lot of this, a lot of the, actually, I think everything today is obscuring. Um, yep. Even these little light ruins, you're just going to have to bear with us, but you can't see through them and they go all the way up to the ceiling. Funny that. The only exception is uh, these big tankers over here, which are true line of sight blocking, but not, uh, and light cover, but if you can see a dude over here, you can shoot it. I mean, it won't really matter. It's the same thing. We've got nothing really big and tall. Pretty much. Apart from the Nemesis Dreadnought. Uh, he's still not tall enough. He's not that tall. Over. 
Chris. Yep. It's time to roll off, mate. Do you want to go first or second? In this match, I don't think I care. Come on then, mate. Let's <sighs> see. If you roll a six, I'm just going to give up right now. Five is pretty close. And a five. Interesting. There we go. Very interesting. Go on. It's getting worse. Looks like the Grey Knights are going first today. Yep. We're going to get a command point. Ooh, oh, before you do that. Oh, do you want to do some fatey dicey? I got my six fate dice. Yep. I'll take that. Yes, I bet you will. That's two sixes. <laughs> two threes, a four, and a one. Yeah, I don't like the sixes. We do need to get you some different fate dice, don't we? Yeah, yeah. so I don't accidentally <laughs> pick them up. In fact, I'm going to leave them hidden That's on a good the idea. over here. Right, by, right underneath Dan's very lurid Scrap Demon challenge. Yeah, yeah don't still need to blow that out. out. We probably need to pick slate that one. <laughs> Love you, Daniel. Uh, cool, man. Um, I'm going to do a couple of scout moves then, and let's just do it on camera. Yeah, sure. We've got six inch scouts. Oh, let's check if it's not nine. We've got scout six on both of my Strike Marine units. So we are going to plod along over here with this unit. And I think my unit over here might just stay there because we've got sticky and we can get it sticky in my command phase. Uh, oh yeah, of yeah. course. Cool, man. So onto your command phase. Onto my command phase. Well, we're getting a command point and that's about all we're doing. Oh, you're making your... You're sticky. We're making it sticky. Thank you very much. Oh, actually, let's draw a couple of secondaries beforehand and see if oh, I need, to yes, do we need something else in my each. command phase. What I've done, Chris, is uh, Tom, it was Tom's suggestion. I went through all of your secondary cards yeah. right, and just took out any of the ones you could do. Oh, all the ones that are like worth eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I took all of those. Oh, like the Storm Hostel objective yeah, one yeah, that Tom yeah, absolutely yeah. loves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's still really bitter about that. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, we'll put a little link over here uh, just with. Um, yeah, a link to last week's match. It was Imperial Knights versus Eldar. It's Chris's debut with the Eldar on the channel, and it went about as well as you'd expect. Not, no spoilers. It went, it's a really two-sided game. Secondaries for today, we've got Extend Battle Lines and we've got Attempting Target. Uh, extend Battle Lines, so one or more in your own deployment zone and one or more in No Man's Land. Quite like that. Very and then Attempting too. Target. I um, pick one. You pick one in No Man's Land. Go for this one, I All dare right. you. So I've got to sacrifice a unit, but at least I'm going to get some points. Yep. Love it. Okay, man, I'm going to do some movement and then we're going to come back while I don't do any shooting, but I'm going to score some points, turn one, and that's what matters. Oh, it's better than last game, then. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Just a quick aside, and we did play the last game off camera between the, with this matchup while Chris was getting up to grips with new Eldar and I was remembering how to play Grey Knights. My first two turns, I scored four points. And I scored, what, 30? Yes. So that is not happening today, and I'm going to get it at least five. Nice. <laughs> See you in a sec after the movement. Well, I've actually done quite a lot of movement for a turn one, and I've had to be really aggressive. Over here, our Strike Marines have done an auto-advance six to get over here and claim this for a lovely, um, what is it, extend battle lines. So there's a five CP that we've got on the board. Our Dread Knight has moved up just to get a bead on that uh, horrible beastie over there. We're not going to do a lot, but if we can do a bit of chip damage, it might help. Our Strike Squad over here has just stayed put. Uh, we're effectively making that objective in the middle sticky, which we like. Interceptors over here have advanced, and we are claiming uh, the tempting target that Chris put down by having a couple of models in range. Just about. Just about. I know this is scary. I know. I'm, I'm scared. Uh, over here, we have the Librarian with... Um, actually, he doesn't have first to fray that one, but he's sitting in the middle with a uh, Vortex of Doom that can go into the Avatar. Uh, and we're claiming the middle, which is quite nice. Over here, though, it's got a little bit... The, the average temperature in the room has dropped and then risen with all the sweat that's coming out of me. Uh, our Librarian, we spent a CP. We have Deep Strike within three inches, and we have a Vortex of Doom bead currently onto Chris's... Onto Chris's general. Yep. End of my movement phase and my very ballsy move over in Chris's deployment zone. Chris, what are you going to do? I'm going to spend a CP on Phantasm. You are. So I'm going to use it on my Autark Wayleaper. Yes. Just because if I can roll a four up, yep. I will be out of range of your mortal wound. You will. And I won't be within 12 to shoot you. And so you will have avoided everything. Well, you can do it elsewhere. I can, I can, but I wanted to do it on him. Yeah, so four up. Six roll. We rolled the four. All right, so Chris moves four inches and ruins my plan, scuppers my plan. Was it more than four or was it A4? It was A4. 
Thanks. 50 50 chance. Oh well. Uh, so we've got some other things then we're going to need to shoot. Let's start off with the stuff that can't shoot anything else, as is standard. Let's start off with the brand new and improved Nemesis Dreadmite. He has a side cannon and a silencer, both in range of Chris's fancy avatar. Should we start off? Let's start off with the silencer. Okay. 12 shots. Yep. We're going to hit you on threes. You are. These are sustained hits one. Okay. So, Ooh. so you get those three misses back? Yeah. Uh, this is only strength six. Okay, we are... T13? T12. T12, so it will be... Sixes. Oh, sixes, whatever, isn't it? Sorry. Oh, One you more. got a few wounds. Yeah, that's all right. Three wounds, please, Chris. No AP. No AP? No AP. Okay, we got uh, three two-ups. Lovely. Six shots then from the heavy side cannon. Uh, these are going to hit you on threes as well. Yep. Lots of ones. The sixes yep. aren't special. We're not Tau. Uh, these are strength 10, so it'll be fives. Yep. Nothing. Cool. Okay, that was well worth it. Well done, chaps. Let's do a Vortex of Doom into him, Chris. The librarian okay. in the center of the board. You can roll a one, it's fine. Thanks, man. <laughs> uh, how many more wounds do you take? I think it's 2d3. My ballsy move has not paid off. Uh, let's have a look. I can always rely on you to roll yeah, a one. Yeah, thanks a lot, Chris. <laughs> um, we take... D6 mortal wins. Five. Oh. Three, and we get a four up fill no pain against them. Oh, okay, that's okay. So we take one. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I'll mark him up in a second. The only other thing to do is over there. Yep. Now you've done a sneaky, Chris. <clears throat> yep, so I can no longer be mortal wounded on my... You can't. Mortal. You've scuppered my plan is what you've done, my friend. So where is everything gonna go? Well, let's... Okay, so we've got storm bolters, and we've got the vortex. Yes. Now, a storm bolt is going to be enough to take out your guardian defenders. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. But with the vortex of doom, perhaps. Let's shoot all our storm bolts into the guardian defenders. Okay. So four shots each. Uh, five of them effectively have that. Yep. Oh, does the librarian hit on one better? Or? He does hit on. Threes as well. So okay. we'll do it all at the same time. Yep. And then he's got his purge soul, and then he's got his. Um, Vortex. Three, okay. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. We're gonna hit on threes, Chris. Okay. Oh, there we go. That's a nice roll. Thanks, man. Oh, you've been learning from Tom, haven't you? I have. I think he's cursed these dice. That was definitely more than half that didn't. Yep. That wasn't good. Uh, we are gonna wound you on threes. Yep. I'm only squishy elder. You are only squishy elder. Squishy space elves. Yeah. Still failed a few. Yep. Just one, two, three, four, five, six saves, please, Chris. Six saves. Six saves. Okay, so no AP. No AP. So we're on four up saves. Four ups. So two die. Two die. Okay, we've got a side cannon. Hit you three times. Wound you two three is times. I'm yeah. <laughs> Uh, AP on this. Yes, minus. It could just be minus one, mate. Sorry. Minus one. Oh, that's pathetic. Five ups. Okay. Three more go down. Uh, then we've got the librarian. Chris, what, how many wounds has your um, dude got? Your uh, hero in that? Four, I believe. Okay. Let's have a look. Uh, th uh, no, T3, four wins. Four wins, all right. So it's not worth doing our precision it's witch fire. It's not worth the precision, is it? <laughs> so look, we got one shot. Um, yeah, we got one shot with the Purge Soul, yep. which doesn't hit. Cool. And then we got our Vortex of Doom. You're gonna roll a one again. Oh. 2d6 mortal wins. Okay. How many have you got left? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, to eleven total wounds in that unit. Okay. Okay. How many total wounds, Chris? <laughs> yep, they are dead. I did a thing. My whole battle plan's gone to <laughs> down the toilet, but I've done a thing. <laughs> yeah, I've got nothing against mortals. All right. So although I can't stop Chris getting an auto two CP a turn, I have managed to stop him from turning them into sixes. And you've stopped me generating more fate. Yes. 
Not bad. In my turn one then, um, we are not doing too bad on the secondaries. We've got a tempting target and we've got extend battle lines. So that is 10 points on the doors. Nice. <sighs> I need to sit down. But there's no time to sit down because Chris is going to hit me back very hard. Yep. So yep. I'm going to go into my command phase. Go into your command phase. I'm getting a CP. You're getting two CPs. I get two. Um, yeah, you've taken away all my other shenanigans for the command phase. Oh, I'm so sorry. Ah, oh, devastated. So I think from here, I'm just going to go on to some movement. Do some movement. We'll step, yeah. check back in afterwards and have a quick look at what Chris is going to do. Yeah. Um, people who know about Grey Knights know that we have an amazing strat called Mist of Demos for one CP. It means when Chris moves within nine of one of my units, I can take them back into Deep Strike. Yep. It's going to happen somewhere. We'll call it out after the movement phase has happened and we'll just do it between ourselves because otherwise we're going to interrupt. Tom's going to get very upset because he's going to have to stop the recording and start it again. And uh, yeah, see you in a sec. Yeah. So, we've done a bit of Eldar movement. I'm, yeah, not so cocky anymore. What? I actually did a thing! <laughs> so, we moved up with our spiders to grab that objective since we have more bodies within range. You totally do, yep. Uh, we just advanced up, we rolled a one on our advance yep. with our Wraith Guard because they need to get in range of shooting stuff. They do. They only got a one though. Yeah. <laughs> we remain stationary with this Night Spinner and this Night Spinner. Funny that. Um, yeah. They're Gonna yep. shoot things. Uh, we s we moved up with our Autark Way Leaper to grab this objective. Hopefully, he's a bit safer now. Yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> we moved our full movement straight up to look at these Terminators. Yes. And there was no Mist of Demos. There was no Mist of Demos, and I don't know if this was a genius move or a terrible move. We're going to find out shortly. Yeah, we will. Yeah. <laughs> And then, yep, I mentioned we remain stationary there, and we remain stationary with these. Yes. Because they're not going to do anything. That they're going to get helpful. shot next turn, Chris, is what they're going to do. Ah, they'll shoot you a bit first. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that was uh, all my movement, because unfortunately we have a pile of, of dead defenders and fast Right, I did a silly. You did a silly. And I, it happens a lot. Yeah. It happened, yeah. I was so... I was mourning my defenders. <laughs> He's <and> been shook. <laughs> I forgot to draw secondaries. Yes. Which I did while I was doing my movements. Yeah, 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 yeah. I drew behind enemy lines, mm. which I cannot really score well this turn. You could have by sacrificing the warp spiders effectively. But I don't want to throw them away just yet. And you can probably keep hold of it and score it next I turn. I can easily score yeah, it next yeah. turn. And I got area denial, which I'm going for with the Avatar of Cain. You are indeed. Which is why you decided not to Mr. Domos away. Yes. If I can't clear that unit, then you won't score that, yep. and I'll be happy. Cool. So I think we should go on to some shooting. We should. Let's talk about clearing that unit, shall we? <laughs> yep. So the avatar's going to shoot at them. Yes. Is he going to use a uh, fate die six to get sustained hits D3, Chris? How did you guess? Oh, it's funny that. The avatar's got a really annoying one-shot gun, yep. which has sustained hits D3. So we're going to take our fate, one of our six fate dice. Yeah, and are you just sure gonna... though, Chris? Because you can't regenerate your fate dice anymore. I know, but I yes. want to clear them. <laughs> <laughs> so we hit, and that sustained hits D3. Yep. So How many? we will get another three. Always. Every Always three. time. Every Always. time. Okay, so we're strength 16. Uh, do you need to roll to hit? Um, my six was to hit to get the sustained oh, D3. Oh, of course it was. So uh, yeah. I'm wounding you on twos. Yep. Uh, I can reroll one because I'm elder. <sighs> uh, that is four saves on your invuln. Yep. Because it's minus four. Four up invulns. They're D6 each, right? Uh, D6 plus two. Oops. So each fail is, is a, a dead D. term. -y. Okay, well, we saved one by chucking your dice on the floor. Okay, so three, dead terminators. three dead terminators. All right. And luckily, it's your character that's at the front. Yes. So take him from the back. Yes. Oof, is what I'm going to say to that. I'll be able to bring one back. That's quite nice. If they're alive. Oh, I'll, yeah. Well, I'll keep, yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> right, so uh, next we're going to go with our. Swooping hawks so in the I'm corner. Changing, I'm just keeping the apothecary and removing the psi cannon because I don't need the psi cannon because I could bring it back. Fair enough. If they're alive. <laughs> if they're alive. Yes. Um, so we're going to go with the swooping hawks next. Yep. I'm going to see if I can tickle you and yeah, maybe tickle me, get dude. a wound. See what happens. So we're going to start off with the Talon's Hawk. Yep. Which is four shots, hitting on threes. Uh, we got lethal hits. One uh, lethal hit. We'll use our reroll here to hit. Nope. So we got one lethal. Now, these are strength five. Uh, T5, fours. fours. We'll use our reroll to wound, so we don't have to remember later. That is three saves at no AP. Two up saves. We're okay. Cool. And now we got 16 shots. From the normal from swooping hawks. From the normal hawks. swooping hawks. Swoopy. 
some good news. Yes, definitely. Uh, <laughs> so these hit on threes. Yep. Six is a lethal. Yep. Oop. Uh, one lethal. Yep. Some misses. And then these are going to be winning fives at strength yes. four. Yes. Not bad. That's a few. Not There's bad at all. Five saves. Yep. At. No AP. No AP. There we go. Oh, I had such, such high hopes. <laughs> uh, right, just to ask you, those two units that are on objects in the middle, uh, are they, do they make it sticky by any chance, those ones in the far corner? Uh, yes. Okay, so we're going to start off with this night spinner. We are going to fire our... Shuriken cannons Shur for Terminators yep. and the indirect into the strike squad who made that objective sticky. Funny that. Who will make it sticky if they survive to your command phase. Ooh, very good point. So, yes, we'll, we'll start off with the um, Shuriken Cannon. Yep. Uh, three shots. We hit on three. Six is sustained one. Good. I don't want to use my reroll. Yeah, 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 I don't blame you. <laughs> uh, we are strength six, so, so three. Four threes. Yep. Yep, that is minus one AP. Oh, come on, William. We're okay. Cool. And now... The big gun. The Doom Weaver. D6 plus one? D6 plus three. Ooh, dear. Ooh, dear. Seven. Seven. Eight, because of Blast. Yeah. Now it's indirect, so we're minus one to hit. So fours? So we're hitting on fours. Yeah. And we'll use our reroll for Eldar. So that is four. Yep. We're strength seven. Uh, T, four, three. Three. Six is a dev. Uh, we're going to twin link, so just re-roll them. So the, this is a tried and tested. Um, it's effectively what that does, right? Yep. So one was a six. One was so a six, so one's a strike marine is dead. And then uh, one strike marine is yep. okay. You're fine. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, so that's that one shot. That's that one shot. Um, Next one, same thing? Yes, and I just need to draw a line of sight. I can... Is it within range though? So this is still, mm, it, no. I know that we don't have the tournament, whatever, so. I can't yep. see, so, uh, do I have a line? No, I don't have a line to them in the middle. Cool, so we just got Doom Weaver. We're gonna shoot that unit again. D6 plus, oh, it's not blast anymore. Nope, so, so D6 it's only D6 plus, plus three. three. There we go, six. six. Hit me on fours. Hitting you on fours. We're the Neldar reroll. Oh, we can't kill him. Uh, winding on threes. Yep. But six Look, is six a is. dev. Okay, one dev. We'll reroll those for the twin linked. Nope, just one another save. guy dead. Oh, uh, Dev's to, devastating wins. Doesn't win me on three? Oh, three, yeah. Sorry, one save with no AP. Okay. So, yep. two dead, no battle shock. Yeah. That could have gone so much worse for me. But now we are into the phase that I'm not used to being in. What's that? The charge phase. Yes. You're gonna charge me, Chris. We're gonna try and charge you with the avatar. Yes, you probably need a four. Maybe less. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, four, I think. That'll do it. We're definitely in. You are. Movement then, give me your worst. Chris, are you doing strike? That avatar arcane is brutal in combat. Are you doing strike or are you doing smite? Uh, we are, I think we're doing strike. I mean, we're not gonna sweep. Because I, I am relying on four up invulns here, everybody. I know that the odds weren't particularly with me, but if I can keep one there, it's going to stop Chris from scoring some prior secondaries, and that's, that's what I need to do. So we've got six attacks. Yep. We're hitting on twos. Yep. And Hold we can re-roll re the one yeah. for the beaten Eldar. All right. So they all hit. Yes. We are strength 14. Okay, two. We will re-roll one of Ooh, those but ones. But that is one miss. Two Ooh. misses. So you have some four up invulns to make I do. Down. Now what damage are these each, Chris? D6 plus two. Okay. Okay. Pass one. Failed, Failed one. one. Pass oh, one. Oh, you're there. Pass another one. Right, Killed so the dude. One guy's dead. Ooh, 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 we're gonna take from here because then we can pile in and we'll fight you back. Yep. Uh, I was hoping that I'd still be alive, and, but I was also hoping there'd be more there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we're not getting anything special. We're not getting our um, lethal hits for the Terminators because we didn't charge, but I'll just pull up the Librarian data card. Okay, Tom's got this idea with, the, with these cards that GW could send a pack of stickers to put on them when they've changed the rules. I mean, 
Eldar cards, you'd end up with like stickers half the size of the deck, right? <laughs> you need a bigger box. Uh, so, just the Terminator hitting into you uh, with his force weapon. He's got four attacks, going to hit you on threes. Yep. Lovely. He is going to be strength six, so he's going to wound you on sixes. He does wound you once at minus two. Minus two. Four up in bomb. Oh, that's two damage down to one damage because the avatar of Kane halves damage. So he is down to 13 wounds. But the librarian's going to bop you on the head. He has four attacks. He hits you on twos. Oh, oh look at that. Angry librarian. Yeah, yeah. Uh, six is nothing. No. Cool. End of that combat, my friend. Ooh, and end of your turn. Have I stopped you from scoring? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I didn't score a single secondary. Lovely. So, end of Chris's turn one. Yep. Should we go into the Grey Knights? Ooh, end of your turn, I get to pick up some units and redeploy them. Yep. Um, the smart ones to do this with are... Okay, I'm not controlling that objective as it stands. Nope. That unit aren't doing anything as it stands. They're going to come with me. Ooh, okay. they do have a 14-inch move. They're not going to get anywhere I want to go, I don't think, at this point. Sorry, sorry. We're controlling this objective, which is good. We're controlling that objective, which is good, and that scores me my 10 points. Yes. I could risk on passing a Battleshock there in order to control that middle objective, but it's a risk. So if I pull up that unit, I could end up in a bit of trouble. Yes. Now, the Interceptor's biggest benefit is their speed and the fact that I could just zip them back. Considering I don't have enough board presence to block off this side of the board, Chris is probably going to get behind enemy lines in his turn, and that's okay. I'm cool with that. So it just depends if there's a better place for them to be in my next turn. And I don't know if there is, <laughs> which makes it a bit tricky. Yeah. Because if I deep strike within nine here, you're going to overwatch me. If I move around the corner, you're going to overwatch me. So uh, just remind me of the range of your flamers, Chris. Is it 12? 12 inches. 12 inches. So I could drop down more than 12 inches away, maybe get behind enemy lines. This unit's going to come with me. OK. That's my, that's my play. That's my sneaky play. So that's the end of my turn. That's the end of your turn? Yeah. Because no one else is going to pop up. I don't think, because I kind of need to control my objective, because otherwise Chris is going to go ham on me. So the, yes, that's the end of your turn, my friend. OK. Uh, are you going to discard in either of your secondaries? Uh, we will. Yeah, I think we've got to get rid of area denial. I don't think I am uh, shifting you from there. So we don't get a CP because we're already capped. Yes, sir. So, Grey Knight's turn two, we're going to go up to two CP, uh, which is cool because I've got something spicy I want to try this turn. And we're going to see if we can do it. Okay. Um, nothing else to report, my friend. I'm going to do some movement and we're going to see what happens. Yeah. Quite a lot has changed on this here board. In our command phase, we did, in fact, bring a Terminator back. Uh, we have moved up the Dread Knight, who's looking at that avatar saying, I want to kill you, maybe I can. That'd be fine, I'm sure. <laughs> These Stripe Marines over here just stay still because we're doing the Lord's work on that objective over there. The, uh, oh dear, I completely forgot to move these Terminators, but I actually think they're not in a terrible spot. <laughs> no, they kind of want to be where they are. Yeah. So they're okay because we've got a bead over here to the um, Swoopy Hawks and we've got a bead over here to the Wave Serpent. Night Spinner. Night Spinner, sorry. No, that's his gun. Oh no. Nice spinner. Over here, uh, the interceptors have thrown away their lives by deep striking within three inches. We're going to claim this objective. Chris is going to overwatch, overwatch me. He's overwatched, overwatched with, with this here night spinner, and we'll see. But if uh, if the maths works out in my favour, we should be able to score our um, capture enemy outpost here, uh, which would be quite nice. Dice, be yeah, it's very true. Uh, Castle and Crow and his friends drop down over here with the view. To, uh, to do a bit of roasty toasty on those, um, those there guardians. That's not really gonna work in my favor because Chris is about to phantasm and I forgot he had that as a CP. And Drago popped down over here. Chris had already called his overwatch, so I wasn't in danger of um, getting overwatched by these flamers. I definitely remembered that and Chris just wasn't a gentleman and told me. Um, within nine inches, we're gonna go for a charge. That is my movement phase and it's actually quite a lot going on. So this is, this is gonna be a big turn too. Let's, uh, let's see how we do. What a lot of CP, Christopher. Yes. <laughs> In my movement phase rundown, um, I should have called out that I did spend a CP to deep strike within three of that, their objective. 
And Chris I spent a CP yep. to Overwatch me. So we're yep. gonna see how that goes, and then I think he might well spend another CP. Yes. Yes. So we're gonna start off with our Doom Shroud thingy. Doom so Shroud thingy, Chris, what's a Doom Shroud thingy? It's, it's the mortal wound, not mortal wound, dev wound. Chris's Doom tank. Weaver, Doom Weaver. Chris's is tank is going to shooty shoot, yep. effectively is what's happening. So we get D6 plus three shots. Yes, you do. Hoping for the six for the number. No. That's a four, so seven. Uh, plus one. Eight. You're looking for sixes, my friend. Yes. Uh, no re-rolling these hits. Huh? No re-rolling these hits other than the Ooh. one re-roll. But I am gonna... You're gonna spend it? Yeah. Spend the so That's fate another fake dice. dice. Hits. Gone. One hit. Now the other's hitting all sixes. Hitting all sixes. Okay, one so far. And a re-roll. Re Three. Three. I think that wasn't enough. <laughs> I do have the shrinking cannon after. Oh, okay. You're looking for uh, threes, but you're really looking for sixes. Yep. Threes. And twin linked. Okay. Okay, so two saves with no AP. Yep. Two two-up saves. We're okay. And cool. then one is dead. Yep. And shuriken cannon, shuriken Chris. Cannon. We're going to be three shots, hit yep. on sixes. Yep. Uh, these are sustained hits one, though. Okay. None. Oh, okay. It was worth, worth a desperate attempt. Now do you want to phantasm me, Chris? I am. I'm yes. fan using phantasm. Okay. On to... D6? Yep, D6. They move five, five inches. Yeah. I wish that was a one. So... Are you running away behind the obscuring, Chris? Yes, how did you get? Funny that. So... Yeah. Am I going to be able to see any of them still? I will let you know that in a sec. I feel like you're going to get one or two shots off. This is okay. This wasn't part of the plan. I can maybe shoot two. Two. Yeah. Those Pants. two on the end will be... Pants, Chris. Wait, are they flamers though, or are they the purest? I wanted the flamers at the front, but I mean, considering there's... Oh, flamers would be... Uh, yeah, if... Yeah. Two flamers. Purified flames. So only one's within range, yep. because the other one yeah, can't yeah. reach with what you can see. That's okay. But that was both of your CP. Let's do some shooting, shall we? I'd rather you didn't. Let's do some shooting. Let's start here with those interceptors who are going to shoot your um, sneaky 2CP boy. They don't want to do that. They do, though, Chris, because he's a pain, and I don't want you to have more CP than me. Let's see what shenanigans he has. Well, 16 shots. We know they're going to be hitting on threes, winning on threes. Yeah. Unless, oh no, I am T3. <laughs> <laughs> He's an elf. He's our elf. It's like sisters' heroes, right? Uh, looking for threes again. That's pretty good. That's not too bad, was it? Any AP on this? No. Storm Bolters. So we have a three up save. Yeah, that wasn't bad, was uh, it? We take two wounds, so yep. we are down to two. Okay. All right. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, we could move six inches at this point. Uh, I don't think we want to move six inches at this point. Okay. Because we do extract within three. Uh, I, I'm not getting anything by moving. I'm still getting that, tagging that objective. Yeah. Fine. Should we start off with this shooting? Yeah, sure. Where are you shooting with? Into these warp spiders. What? The poor little warp spiders? Poor little? They're not poor little. One, two, three, four, What five, are they going to do with their little one damage flamers? <laughs> Ten, they got no AP 12, 13, or anything. 14, 15, 16. Storm, oh, no, not 16. Let's take away four of those because we've got a side these are the shots from the normal dudes with their storm bolts. Okay. Then we'll do our side cannon, then we'll do Drago. So okay. you're hitting on threes? Hitting on threes. And wounding on threes. Yep. Okay. Right. No Just, AP? No, no AP. So we have a three up save. Uh, yep, cool. Cool. Are you ready for Drago? Well, we got a side cannon first. Let's do that. It's always fun. Three shots from a side cannon. Okay. I'm going to use Chris's dice because they're rolling sixes. Three shots from a side cannon. We hit you three times. That's yep. not good dice. <laughs> um, these will wind you on twos. And these are at minus one. Good. Okay, well cool. done. So uh, four up save. Yep. Cool. And then we've got Drago's Stormball tree. Hits you on twos. Good. Great. Well done, lad. And then he wounds you on threes. Good. Cool. But he does have three shots from his scourging. Scourging, yeah. uh, which hit you on twos. These yep. are strength six, so we'll wound you on threes. Twos. Uh, two, sorry. These are minus two. Minus two, that puts me onto my five up in bomb. And two damage pop. Yeah, it doesn't matter. No. 
All right, two die. Two die. No battle shock. We're going to have okay, to try charge. Two down. Cool. Cool. Other uh, shooting? Yeah, at some. We obviously can't target him, which is a bit of a shame. Yep. You know what? We're going to um, shoot the Vortex of Doom into the yep. avatar. Okay. From you can the roll library. a one again. It's fine. Yeah, thanks, Chris. Uh, yep. Cool, we take a wound. So Great. you're down, it's minus two wounds yep. on him now. Yep. Uh, let's shoot the Psy Cannon into the Avatar of Cain. <laughs> yep. From the um, Nemesis Dread Knight. Yep. Is it minus one to hit? Uh, yes. So he will be... On four. Right? He might hit on twos. Oh. Let's have a look. Oh, because of the data slateness. Yes, because of the data slateness. I Sorry can't remember what he hit on before, just because... Uh, he hits on threes, mate. Yeah, Two, so three, four, four, five, six. I don't think there's anywhere else he wants to shoot. Unless, actually, he wants to shoot his silencer into them. Okay. And his psi cannon into the avatar. Okay. So these will hit you on fours. Uh, psi cannon shots into the avatar. That's a lot of sixes. I wish yeah. they did something. That'd be lovely. Yeah, it would be um, good. And then these will be fives to wind. Nope. Nothing. Cool. He's just rare. He's just getting the Gatling gun going. Oh, so he's going to miss with that now. <laughs> <laughs> these will be threes into the warp spikes. Yep. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> these are strength six. Okay, so it's going to be twos to wind. It's going to be twos to wind. Oh, there's sustained hits one. I don't know how many sixes I rolled. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. That'll do. Okay. No AP. No AP, so we're no AP. three up saves. How much damage are they AP? Just one. Uh, yeah, no damage. Fair. Fair, fair, fair. Okay, last bit of shooting is over in that back. Oh, no, it isn't because we've got some nonsense to do here. Um, these chaps over here. Yes. We've got to shoot somewhere, haven't we, Chris? You don't have to. Let's shoot the Storm Bolters into the... Uh, swoopy swoopy hawks. hawks and the side cannon, and then we can choose to do our vortex of doom wherever. Okay. So let's do the uh, storm bolters, including the librarians, into those swoopy hawks. Okay. So it'll be five lots worth of them. Three, four, one, two, three, Ooh, four. One has the side cannon though, right? Two, three, four, but we got the Libby there as well. Oh, yeah, so it'd be four. Because uh, one's got five, the. Five, six, one's got a side cannon, one's a medic. Yes, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's see 12, how 13, screwed this guy, these 15, guys 15, are. 16. We're gonna hit you on threes, yeah, and we're gonna screwed. hit you on threes. <laughs> oh, not maybe not. with my rolling, Chris. Imagine. Tom really has been teaching Imagine you. if I had Chris rolling today. Imagine that. Uh, threes to win you. Yep. Okay, so we're alive. You're alive. I've got a side cannon. Well, no AP. And I've got a purge soul. We're on four up saves. So one dies. Okay, we got a side cannon. We hit you one time. <laughs> we wound you one time. AP? Minus one. Five up. Great. And then we got a purge soul. Hits, wounds. That's a minus, sorry. Minus five up in Von. Minus five up in Von, yeah. There we go, nope. we killed another one. Yeah. Um, we're going to, we're going to vortex a doom into them. Okay, you're gonna roll a one again. Chris, stop saying that. <laughs> two D three. Yeah. Oh, two. two. That leaves the Autark alive. Oh, that's annoying. That's very annoying. Oh well. Um, the only thing left to shoot is this, and Chris has ruined my, scuppered my plans with what he was doing. So I'll get two, one flamer <laughs> and two lots of purifying flames into you. Oh wait, <sighs> purifying flames? Yeah, so that's what uh, Drago gives them, the anti-infantry okay. nonsense. So Crow can't hit you. So one flamer, which would be D6 shots. Yep. For three. These will wound you, uh, sorry. Incinerator, strength six. T7, uh, five. five. Nothing. No. Um, and then we've got one, two, three, four purifying flames coming through because the extra one that he gives you, yep. uh, he gives us. These will hit you on threes. Nope. Uh, you shot me, so I'm going to immediately shoot back. Oh, do I not have to kill something? No. Oh, that was completely... That was really bad. So... That was really bad. I can hit you with five. Yeah, that was, that was not smart at all. So uh, I usually hit on fours, yep. but threes because the spirit is there. 
Uh, did he have to bless them? No. For that? Okay. It's just when he's leading the unit. Cool. So hit on threes. Yep. Six is a lethal. Yep. Uh, we'll do our Eldar shenanigans. So we got four hits. Two's to win me. Yep. And we'll reroll that wound that failed. So that is uh, four saves at minus four. Yes, I think you've just killed four, Chris. Well, they're D6 damage each. Okay. So I could roll one. <laughs> roll them up, buddy. So one dead, two dead, three dead, four dead. Funny that. Cool, you killed four. And yeah. Uh... Could, uh, is there any point for it? I might as well fire the pistol as well. So we get one shot, hit on the two. Not a smart move, William. Uh, we missed. Cool. There we go. All right, mate. Uh, I've got a couple of charges then. Yep. Now, with the Grandmaster, is it worth trying to get dev wounds to ignore your invuln, or is it worth doing some mortal wounds with a tank shock? It's up to you. Tank shock, we could do up to six more. Well, it's strength 16. I'm... Sorry, strength 14. Okay, I'm T12. So, so I would get 16 dice, dice to roll. On average, I'll probably get two or three. It's five up, so it's a third. Oh, sorry. Um, so like maybe five. Yeah. Or dev wounds, and then you don't get your four up involved. D6 damage for each of those. I'm rerolling them, but I've only got five. We're going to tank shock. So we can okay. spend CT, CP to tank shock, okay. and we'll make, try and make that charge. You're going to roll a double one? Probably. Oh. Okay, that'll do. Yep. Cool, we'll move him on up, and then my charge over here is a bit of an annoying one, because I don't really want to waste... I don't really want to waste them all on that one swooping hawk. But he's actually going to be more annoying for the rest of the game. No, I've got to kill the tank. We're going to charge into the tank. Okay. Uh, it would be a three-inch charge. Will a seven-inch make it, Chris? Just about. Cool. Last charge I'm going to do then is going to be Drago into the Warp Spiders. Okay. Um, we will pop his once per game plus three inches. Okay. That'll do it. Cool. So let's move these in and let's go into the combat phase. Do you want to pull your Warp Spiders, Chris? Or do you want me to roll loads of dice? I mean, I've seen how you roll in combat before. Okay. <laughs> um, Start with Carl and we'll see where we go from there. <laughs> do you don't have fights first anyway, do you? Nope. Okay, could you chuck those guys into combat for yes, me? Yes, of course. Thank you. Let's, um, oh, let's see what our tank shock does. Yep, so roll your 16 dice. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Looking for fives and sixes. Looking for fives and sixes. Uh, that's the four six. Lovely. All right. Ah, oh, let's go there first. Sod it. Let's see what happens. Yep. So he, the Nemesis Dreadnought, has had a bit of an upgrade in the latest balanced data slates. So there's no point in looking at my card anymore. No. He has an ability, which is quite nice. So he can, um, until the end of this phase, reroll hits, wounds, and damage. Which is quite nice. Yeah. I got no CP, do I, Tom? I just spent my last one on Tank Shock. Cool. All right, we've only got five attacks though, Chris. Okay. So five attacks with a big hammer. Yes. Are you ready? So you're hitting on twos, I'm guessing. We are hitting on threes. Oh. <laughs> but we're re-rolling. With a re-roll. Cool. Uh, we have strength 14. Okay, I'm going to be threes to wound. With a re-roll. Okay. Cool. That's four, please, Chris, on your inborn save. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we're on a four of inborn. Uh, we're going to save one. The fifth yeah. dice. Okay. Three, Chris. <laughs> okay. Two go Two through. Go through. Uh, they're D6 plus one each, but obviously that will be halved. Halved. But we do get to reroll. Oh, I don't need to reroll that. <laughs> so that's 14-7 that he's dead. I don't explode. Tom, that's where to put the applauding and the confetti. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, that was unexpected. Yeah. Oh dear, Chris. I'm sorry. Uh, no, I'm not sorry. <laughs> I'm not sorry at all. I'm actually quite happy with that. Get on, Grey Knights. Stupid double six. Great, double <laughs> six. Oof. 
Um, <laughs> I don't quite know what to do with myself now. <laughs> it's just, it's been menace for so long. I might cry. Um, shall we see if we can do anything into your tank? Yes, sure. We've got four attacks from each of them. Three, four, and there are, and I'll have to roll him separately. So let's do the 20 from the unit. Two, three, four, five, six, okay. seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And you have lethals on the charge, right? I do. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, normally I would have run a chaplain in this, these two, gives me an extra plus one to my wound roll, which is normally how I take out Chris's tank. So this is not going to go particularly well, I don't think. I mean, we'll have to see. Let's have a look. This many dice. From the unit. We're looking yep. for threes. Actually, we're looking for sixes. Well, you got four wounds. Those will do. Four lethals. Uh, and a jolly good roll. Yeah, I'll just re-roll that one because it's cocked. Cool. Yep. Cool. Strength six, mate. Uh, with T9. So fives. That's quite a lot Okay, of I don't know what's happening today. This is the opposite of what happened to Tom last week. Sorry, spoilers. Go and check out Tom's game against Chris over here and he, see what happens. He rolled really well. He rolled game. really, yeah, you'll get that from his uh, thing at the beginning. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, please, Chris, at minus two, they're two damage each. So five ups. Uh, four, yeah, I'm dead. Uh, do we blow up? No. That was the correct charge. Um... I think you'll find wounds on twos. Uh, have we got any other combat? Oh yeah, we got this combat. Yep. Do you want to pull him or do you want me to roll? I want you to roll Drago. Okay, I'll roll Drago. If, if, he, doesn't, if he doesn't do a wound to them. Then you know. <laughs> then I'll make you roll the rest. <laughs> then you know it's all gone wrong. Uh, okay, he has six attacks. Yep. He hits you on twos. Yes. He's all right. Uh, we will wound you on twos. twos. Okay. Four, please, Chris. These are at minus four. Five up in bonds. Yeah, they're dead. One more unit. Cool. Okay. Um, I mean, I, this is horrible. There's not a lot we can do about it. So we're probably going to... I need to... Temp, sorry, control hostile objective I already got over there effectively. Yep. So we might as well move three this way. Okay. Just, I mean, there's no point. You're going to shoot them out of existence in the next turn. Maybe, we'll see. So you know what, we're actually, we just give <laughs> sod it. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, they're in trouble anyway. And I can't just consolidate into you, can I? Yeah, yeah. I think, Chris, I'm, yeah, I'm not worried about that. I'm going to consolidate. I mean, you've got a strat to retreat and shoot, right? Yeah. i got a full back and shoot strat. So we are not doing anything in this. No, we're, we're just, we're going to be there, it's fine. Um, mate, that's probably my turn. Yeah, that's fairly good. It wasn't a bad, it wasn't a bad turn. So, <laughs> behind enemy lines, uh, we did get for the five victory points. Yep. And Storm Hostile Objective, we did get for five victory points. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, uh, all right. Yeah. Cool, man. Um, time for my command phase. Time for your command phase. I'm getting a CP. You're getting two. Yep, I will. Because of that jammy bastard over there. Yep, I am not scoring any primaries. How and, does it feel, Chris? <laughs> and I've got assassination as my next secondary. Ah, uh, you could do it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, I have no... Oh, oh, no, wait, you haven't killed one of them yet, so I can't bring one back. Oh, what a shame. Yeah. So, uh, we are... We're just going to go on to movement, and yeah, I've got a lot to do here. There's some work to do, my friend. Tom, what are the scores on the doors as it stands? 30 plays uh, nothing unless you score primary this round. No? 30, 30 plays zero. Yeah. Oh, what a shame. Reverse of What yeah. a shame. All right, Chris, do some movement. Blow me up. Let's see what happens. <laughs> okay. So, we got quite a bit to do. You've got quite a bit more on the board, though. Yes. Yes. So, movement. We remain stationary with this unit of Wraith Guard. They're pretty much oh, where yeah. they want to be. Yeah. Uh, we remain stationary with this tank because we don't want to get overwatched. Yep. We remain stationary with our Autark Whaley because we don't want to get overwatched. Yeah, yeah, funny. Um, we moved, we advanced. Our Swooping Hawk got a nice yes. five on the advance and just got within three of that objective. And he did pass his... Um, his Battleshock. Battleshock. As, as did the... the uh, Autark. Autark, yeah. 
and then we had some stuff coming from Deep Strike. In fact, everything down from Deep Strike. Yes. So we have a unit of Shadow Spectres there. We have a unit of Shadow Spectres here, and we got some fire, five little warp spiders just on the. On the I think edge. those track marines might be in so, trouble. Yeah. We'll have to <laughs> see what happens. We will. Right. Should I do a little Overwatch first, Chris? Yep. Nemesis Dread Knight is going to Overwatch the uh, Shadow Spectres who just popped down. Yeah. Because it would be silly not to, I think. Three, four, five, six shots from his side cannon. We are looking for sixes, of course. That's all right. I can live with two of those. Oh, I can't. <laughs> those will be twos to wound you. Yep. Two. Uh, minus one. Minus one puts him on a four-up save. I don't have any fours. One is dead. And then we've got 12 shots from the silencer. Your stealth doesn't matter here, Chris. Six, seven, eight, Ooh. nine, 10, 11, 12. Look at the sixes. Three. Okay. These will also be on twos. Oof. Just two. Okay. Um, I think possibly minus one. Let me just double check. It could be nothing. Uh, it was also sustained hits, so I'm really sorry. I'd rolled three. Let me roll three more. Yep. See if these guys wound. Uh, two more. Okay. So I'm on four of saves. Yes. Yep. Uh, two more, two more die. So three in total? Yep. Which ones? Uh, take your pick. I don't care. <laughs> They're going to do their job. They are going to do their job. Okay, cool. man. Sorry. You're, tell, you've told us about your movement. Yep. Are you going to do some shooting? Yes. Yes. So. So. We're going to start off with the four warps, the five, five warp spiders, spiders who are all, they are all going, going to... into the strike squad. Yes. So that is sixty-six shots. Sixty-six shots. Not great. Not so great. 12, Actually, kind of 18. average. Eighteen. Yeah, out of thirty-six. That's e exactly average, Chris. Yeah, but I wanted better than what? that. What? You can't ask for better. <laughs> I, I can ask. I'm not going to get it. <laughs> So 18 shots. These yep. are strength four. Uh, so it'll be fours. Four You're strength. looking for sixes. Yeah. yeah. They will smash the wounds, of course. Uh, hit because hit. Of course. torrent. Of course. So we're looking for sixes, but fours will wound. And we get to reroll one. That's a bit spicy. So that's immediately five, well, five you get your saves five. first because they apply at the end. Okay. But, so I'll need to pass all, every single one of these in order for a guy to be alive. Yep, so yep. you've got four saves with no AP. Twos. <laughs> There's the one. There's the one. <laughs> yep, squad gone. Squad gone. Lovely job. Uh, we advanced with our swooping hawk, but if I just check the weapon, it does have a salt. Has it got a salty? So we're going to put four shots into those termies. Yeah, why not? Uh, hitting on three. Uh, we can re-roll one. That six is lethal. Strength five. T5. Fours. And we'll re-roll one. That oh, is mate. four saves with no AP. Two skis. All right. Cool. Right. What's next, mate? We're going to shoot with our two uh, Shadow Spectres. Yep. We are going to go for the Focus Beam. Yep. Into the Termies. Yep. 24 yep. inch range, so we should be good. Uh, yeah, one shot each, hitting on threes. Lovely. Both hit. Uh, these are strength six. So threes. Uh, this is minus two. So four up in bonds. How much damage each? Three each. Oof. Uh, one goes through. So one dead termy. And after a shot, it's going to use its ability to move up to six inches and they're going to move back into your deployment zone. Lovely move, Chris. That sounds like a behind enemy lines if you ask me. That is a behind enemy lines. Cool, man. So we'll move them in a sec. Yep. But first, we are going to shoot with our Autuck. Yes. We are going to fire our Melter yep. into the guys sitting in front of them. They're, they strike squad or they... They are interceptors. Ooh. So, where the hell is this guy? There he is. So we have one shot with the Dragon Fusion Gun. Yep. Um, yeah. I mean, I haven't used a Fate Dice yet. And actually, no, I'll save it. I'll save it. You just need a three, right? Or is it oh, a I hit him with two. Yeah. Classic. Six. Uh, that doesn't mean anything. Good. It's strength nine. Yeah, threes. Oh, sorry, twos. Uh, yep, that wins. Uh, that is minus four AP. Yes, six up save. Lovely. Cool. 
Uh, you're within six, so it is Melter three. So yeah, one is, guy um, is very dead. So it's seven damage. <laughs> all right, man, you can have it. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> okay, so what to do? What to do? Where yeah, to shoot next? now? I think the next thing to do is to shoot with this big Guardian unit defenders into, into the into Drago. Yeah. So we have ten shots. Oh, I should have. I should have piled into them so they need have had to have wasted a CP to get out of combat. It was yeah. a smart move. Uh, we're hitting you on threes because of our plus one to hit. Ew. And we can re-roll one because Eldar. Did you fortune this turn? Fortune? I yeah. can't fortune. Oh. My Farseer you killed in the first turn. Interesting. So, uh, two to seven it. hits. Yep, strength 14, twos. Uh, oh, one re-roll. So uh, those are devastating. Yeah, good. And then you have saves to make here of on your inborn. Okay. That's all right. Two dev, how much damage? Well, we'll make one of three damage. So you killed a Termi. And then the other one yeah, kills another. Yeah, two Termis. And now the big damage, we're going to fire our shuriken pistol at you. Okay, you better do that. Go on then. So it hits on a two. Strength four. I hate shuriken pistols. Fives. No. Good. Cool. Uh, where do we shoot now? What have you got left? So. These dudes and the tank. Yes. We are going to shoot those dudes. Yep. Into, into the Tamis. Tamis. Yeah, good move. So that is five shots. We're going for the focus shot again. Yep. Hit on three. Yep. Nice. All hit. We are strength six. Three. And we can re-roll one. So that is four saves on your involvement, minus two. Oh, I've got to do them one at a time, just because then we're going to need to see what the damage does to the librarian. It's fine. That is the dead termy. That's three he's wounds one. on top of his two that he's already uh, taken. I think you've just taken them out, but we'll check. Uh, he's taken two so far. Yep. And he has five in total. So he's, he's just done three. You killed him. So that is assassinate. That is assassinate. Well done. Now, do I think I can take out a character? You just killed one. Another character. Probably. Ooh, we will put, oh yeah, I think we're gonna put everything from that the Night Spinner into them, into the Purifiers, because they are terrifying. They're not. <laughs> Not against what you got left. Yeah, we'll see. But, so we're going to start off with the Doomweaver. Yep. A D6 plus three shots. Yep. You, do you have a CP? Yeah. Yes. Can you re-roll that? Because I, uh, I can, but I, f oh, yeah, I'm going to re-roll it. I forgot to do what I wanted to do. Oh, well. So that's a CP. Yep. Better. Cool. So that is eight to nine yeah. shots. We are hitting on threes, because we can see you. And we'll re-roll one of those. I don't mind some misses for once. Right. And then it will be threes to win me, but you're looking for sixes, sixes and your twin link. And we'll re-roll all of these. Right. Nope, so that is four saves at no AP. Two ups. Classic. That is three Three bits. go down. Uh, one, two. Literally is a flamer. Oh, and this unit has done nothing. Shuriken. Shuriken cannon. Yep. Three shots. Hit on threes. Six is sustained. Missed all. Good. Cool. So that is shooting. That is. Are you going to charge me? Uh, first I'm just gonna, oh yes, I will charge. Um, I'm gonna charge you with the yep. attack. Into your... Interceptors. Interceptors. He's in. You make it? He loves it. Cool. So, before we get into that, I just need to do my moves with my... Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, they attack. shot, they shot, it's... yep. I'll get yep. Which, we're just doing now, just to... Lovely. Time. So we're making sure we're in your deployment here. And here we are just going to move up the field a bit. Lovely. All right, dude. Cool. So, shall I whack you in combat? Yeah, 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 go on in. So, 
Or type way leaper, we have five attacks. Uh, we hit you on threes. Oh. With an Eldar reroll. Didn't make any difference, did it? Ooh. Uh, with strength six, so three. Uh, we could, we'll use our last three. Yep. So, that's one wound. The other three, winding on threes. And we got an Eldar reroll. So that is four saves at minus two. Four ups. How much damage each? Two damage piece. All right. One goes down. Yep. So one is dead. Should we smack you back? I got there. Uh, two. Yeah. Uh, since you're whacking me back, I will spend a CP on lightning fast. Okay. So that is two CP you spent this turn. Yes. So minus one to hit. Yep. Force to hit ya. Oh. Sorry. Didn't matter much. Not matter by one. Strength six, so it'll be twos. Yes. Oh, Ooh, it's good to see we don't like that at all. These are all at minus two, Chris. A minus two puts me on my four-up in bomb. Yep. Yeah, I'm running. dead. Shame I might have assassinate. Yeah. All right, man. <laughs> all right. So at the end of my turn, yep. I score assassinate for five. Yep. And behind enemy lines for five. Yes. Very nice, my friend. What turn are we on now? Three. God, this game. Yeah. Oof. It's all right. I'll speed up now. I haven't got anything left. <laughs> uh, this so. is talking, my god. Yeah. <laughs> my turn. Let's see what secondaries we get. We've got assassination, pants, and we've got engaged in all fronts. Now, assassination, do you have any heroes left? Yes. One. Okay, that's a shame. And engaged in all fronts is not too bad. No. So, oh, sorry. End of your turn. I need to think about what units to pick up. Um, I still need to score some primaries. 10 is the max, so I need that one, and we might as well go for that one. Okay. Which means that Drago has to come up. But what's, what's Drago actually going to do? He's probably going to charge that unit. He's probably going to die, right? Uh, <laughs> I, I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. He's going to charge that unit. Yeah, it makes sense for it. Uh, does it? Or is it better to have more pieces on the board elsewhere? What secondary uh, I'm not meant to look at those until I've picked up the ones that I'm meant to pick up. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, so that unit over there is doing nothing right now. They're going to yeah. come up with me. Yeah, I figured that much. So there are. Even though they're getting me a nice engagement on fronts. That unit's going to come with me because Drago's going to stay there. That unit's going up? Yep. Okay. Remember, you won't have the objective because sticky hasn't happened yet. No, oh, they, they don't get sticky, sticky anyway. Okay, yeah, 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 it's fine. So there. Um, and the last one to come up. Those guys? Or are they happy where they are? Well... Ah, oh, yeah, they'll come up. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Cool. <laughs> now let's talk about my secondaries, Chris. Oh, yeah, yeah. You Assassination and engage in all fronts. Assassination yeah. is almost impossible to score. So I might spend my CP, get rid of assassination, and pick up capture enemy outpost. Uh, if you control one or more objective markers in your op opponent's deployment zone. That was annoying to waste a CP on then, Chris, wasn't it? Because how many CP are you on now? Zero. Zero. So you can't, oh, one. So you Ooh, can I got one. strike within three one. and grab okay. it. Yeah, we'll do that then. All right, mate. That's... Ah, oh, I should have picked up that strike squad. It's cool. I picked up three. We're all good. Uh, I'm going to do some movement. Okay. And then let's see what's up. All right, guys. Catch around the outpost and engage in all fronts meant that I couldn't do the optimum thing here, but I should be able to score some, of, some points on those. Yeah. If we jump to the top down really quickly, I'll just tell you what happened in the movement phase. Um, strike squad moved out here, so we got a bead over here. Yep. Just some stormbolt shots. We're not getting rapid fire, but we're just going to see if we can do it. This is still sticky. It's quite important I wipe them out. Okay. Over here, we deep struck with Crows, remaining friends. Yeah. Uh, they're getting me engaged in all fronts for this table quarter, which is kind of nice. And getting that objective. And getting that objective, which is kind of nice. And have some shots at some infantry, and they're particularly good at killing infantry. So hopefully, they can do some business over there. The Dread Knight came over here. He's going to go for a charge. And I'm overwatching. And you're overwatching, but the idea is maybe we shoot over here and see what happens. Okay. Drago stayed where he was. And the Librarian squad... Oh, sorry. Right back over in that corner. We just deep struck the two remaining interceptors. Engage just all fronts. Engage all fronts. And um, yeah, the Terminator squad with the Librarian had to pop down there. Uh, yes, it may be a waste. Yeah, they're not really going to get any shots off. 
It was about scoring capture enemy outposts for the eight. Yeah. Uh, spent a CP to a deep strike within three. Right. Shall I overwatch you? Overwatch me, mate. I got ten shots with the Wraith Guard. Yeah, and they could kill him. Hit on sixes. Yeah, but they could kill and him. And sixes are lethal. Yeah. Yeah, all right, one. With a reroll. One. One. So, yeah, minus four. Involve! Yeah, you take it. D6 plus one? Uh, just D6. For six. Cool. <laughs> Can't be fast. Uh, he's down to seven. Okay. All right. Should I do some shooting? Ooh, sorry. Pistol. Oh, we'll go on Pistol then. Pistol on a six. Yeah. All right, mate. I'm going to do a little bit of shooting. Um, I don't want to shoot into this unit at all because I don't want to get shot out for free in my turn. It sucks. I hate it. Oh. Yeah. Well, so I, I can't even Vortex of Doom. Maybe I could. Yeah. How it, how's it written, Chris? Um, it says... Um, once per battle round when enemy unit targets this unit, after the unit's finished, oh, it says attacks. So I think... Attacks. That... I should be safe with yeah. this psychic ability. I think so. So we're going to Vortex of Doom into them. Okay. We're not going to shoot the rest of the guns. That would be a mistake. We're not even going to bother shooting our Storm Bolters. What? Classic. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. One mortal wound. Does he save it? No. Good. Stupid game. <laughs> he's, uh, he's done to four. Whatever. What? Whatever. Um, all right. I hope the rest of my shooting does something. Should we start off with this squad who are going to shoot the Storm Bolters over here because they can't shoot anyone? Okay. Uh, they do have stealth. They do. So, so two shots each one. and we're going to hit you on fours. Fours. That's all right. About half. You were winning your threes. Threes. Not so good. Just two. No AP. So no AP. Three up saves. Uh, one is left. <laughs> of course. Uh, should we go on to Castle and Crow then? Yep. Uh, we will shoot the purifying flames into the Shadow Spectres. Shadow yep. Spectre. Yep. Um, and then the Flamers and his Storm Bolter into your dude. The Sweeping Hawk Exarch. Sweeping Hawk Exarch. So there's three Flamers. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wounding on threes. Wounding on twos. Two. Oh yeah, because anti-infantry stupidness. Uh, right? It's just strength six. Oh, strength six. Oh, I'm pretty sure. Let's have a look. Either way, that was pretty good. Uh, Purify squad. Strength. Strength six. Minus one. Oh my god, they're good flamers. Yeah. Uh, minus one. Fours. Yeah, he dead. Yeah, good. Uh, and then... <laughs> See, I'm torn between feeling sorry for you and celebrating in the fact that you've, you've done this to everyone else you played in about the last six months. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't feel bad. Um, we've got uh, we've got the Purifying Flames. They've got two each. Yep. So, uh, two, I'll do the unit first. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are going to hit you on fours. This is stealth. And uh, these stealth. are... These are against the Exarch, right? No, 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 we just killed the Exarch. Oh, okay, flamers. cool. Yeah, yeah, so just into okay. the other one, uh, but they are anti-infantry, two up. Cool. Three of those go through. Um, Any oh, okay, so uh, four up. Uh, yeah, they're dead. Cool. Shabba. Oh, poor Shabba. little guys. What do you mean, poor little guys? They're the bane of Terminators everywhere. They killed my librarian. They got you assassinate points. Yeah, but they could have done more. They could have. Um, all right. Have we got anything left to shoot? Oh, yes, this chap. Everything into this unit of Shadow Spectres, Chris. Oh, you're minus one I hit. know. Six shots from the Psy Cannon falls. Two, three, four, five, six. Mm. Two hits. Two to wound. One wound. Uh, minus one. Nope. Kill one. And then six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12 shots from the silencer. Oops, sorry, hits you on fours. Good. <laughs> Pretty good. And wounds you on twos. No AP, but that's a lot of saves. Three ups. Uh, three. All right, there's one left. Pants, that's all right. That is annoying. Oh wait, was that sustained, that gun? Yeah. You missed all those sixes. There were loads. Well, no. Can we say there were three? I, there were more than three. Should we I'd see say if... there were like five. 
Well, that's th three more wounds, Chris, for your last guy. Yeah, he did. Did. <laughs> However brutal Chris is to play against, he is a very fair opponent. I will give him that. However annoying he is. <laughs> All right, man, that's, uh, that was pretty good. Yeah. We're kind of doing what we need to do. Let's do a couple of charges. Drago's gonna charge into the... What's the fellas? The uh, Wraith Guard? Yeah. He makes it. Nemesis Dread Knight's gonna charge. He makes it. Okay. So we're gonna go for Engage North Front. Yay. <laughs> and we'll just go here. All right, dude. Should yeah. we see what Hammer Time does? Yeah, let's see what Hammer Time does. <laughs> we're obviously gonna reroll everything. Although you're not monsters, so I can't reroll the damage. Okay. So it will be threes to hit you rerolling. Uh, no reroll needed. Uh, strength 14. So twos. <laughs> I think you'll find it wounds <laughs> on twos. Oh, there's a one. Cool. Minus lots. Have you got an invul? Has it ever come up before? Uh, it has, but uh, I'm on a two-up save normally. So I think it's minus three. It could be minus four with the latest rules. Minus three. Minus three puts me on a five up. Not bad. So That's some through. classic Chris's. D6 plus one each. Okay. Four wins each. Three each. That's one dead. Two, Two dead. dead. There's my sixes. Should we go with Drago's unit next? Oh, they got one back. Aren't they lucky? Because yeah. uh, of the apothecary in the unit. Yeah, yeah, we know. Shut up, Will. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> nine, ten, eleven. Twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16. I got no suppers. I can shoot those if it's my shooting phase. But you're not monsters, Chris, so you can't shoot in combat. But you are. Vehicle. Uh, oh no, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. I can't shoot in combat. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> you got pistols? Uh, these are the normal dudes. They removed the, they, oh, you, they used to yeah. gain the pistol keyword. Stupid. These are the normal dudes. Yeah. We're hitting on threes, but we're looking for sixes. Okay. Three sixes. That's all right. Oh, sorry. Let's take those lads out. And the rest are winning on fives, right? The rest are winning on five. Strength six. Two more. So that's five saves. Five saves, please, my friend. Minus two. Minus two. So it puts me on a four up. Four. Uh, one goes through. Two damage. So one is down to one. And then Drago. Six attacks. Hits you all of the times. Yep. Doesn't, uh, any sixes. Uh, let's check his strength in a second, but it's probably just that six. Yeah, I think so. Yep. <laughs> oh, strength is he? He just whiffs constantly. Well, I, I've never known him to actually kill anything. Yeah, he's strength eight, actually. So the threes do wind. Oh, okay. Oof. Cool. Uh, these are at minus four. <laughs> minus four, six up. Yeah. They're three damage each. Uh, yep. So... Okay, Drago's actually done a thing. I'll give him that. I'll do that. Cool. Uh, I can punch you back. You can punch me back. Uh, yeah, into Drago's unit. Yeah. So we will start off by punching uh, you with Wraith Guard. I'll have consolidated uh, after I did my attacks. Yeah. Yeah. And... Oh, you wouldn't have been able to consolidate that far. I would. Because he attacked first. He did. He did. But right. then you removed guys from that side. After and Drago I attacked. removed more. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah. So he just ended up about here. Yeah. Um, so... They get three attacks each. Beefy boys. So that is 12 attacks. They hit on fours, but threes. Oh, actually, let me check that it says. <laughs> but threes are lethals. <laughs> uh, yeah, so they get plus one to hit, so they're hit on threes and six is a lethal. Nice. So that is three lethals. Oh, we can reroll one. Ooh, Four look at lethals. That. And then the rest are at strength, probably okay, five. So, so fours. fours. And we'll reroll one. Damn, son. Cool, so that is uh, eight saves, That's is it? it? Done more than Drago. Uh, uh, no AP. Six. That is one damage. Oh, the shame. <laughs> but our spirit seer gets to fight now. Has he got a amazing melter knife? He has the witch staff. <laughs> oh, that sounds cool. He gets two attacks. 
and he hits on twos. Sixes will be lethal. Was it in ninth where you had a stupidly strong... Where they always wound on twos? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For whatever reason. Yeah, so they both were... Um, they're strength three. Cool. But they're anti-infantry two plus. Cool, twos. This one with wounds on twos as well, this is stupid. There you go, uh, no AP. Oh, look, how much damage? D3. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Two. Yes. <laughs> I call that a win. Yeah, you could, Chris. <laughs> All right, mate. I think that's my turn. Uh, capture enemy outpost, we do get for eight and engage yep. on all fronts. One, two, three, four. Uh, that is, what is that? Four, uh, five VP. Cool. So I got 10 at the start of the turn. Tom, what are the scores on the doors as it stands? Uh, it is 53 plays 10 as we go into the second half of round three. Second half yep. of round so three. I'm, Chris, I'm, what are your primaries? I, I don't score any. No. <laughs> okay. So, Chris, uh, what are your secondaries? Let's take, see what seconds I have. I have engage on all fronts, which... Um, might be hard. I, you could get for three. I have enough yeah. to score. Just uh, I got capture enemy outpost. Yeah. Which I can also score. Can do it by moving over there. Not bad. Uh, hit something. Yeah, not bad. Cool. Um, what's uh, the play? So I've gained a CP. Just the one, Chris. Which is good. So I'm, yeah, I'm going to do some movement shenanigans, I think. So we'll be back in a sec. Classic, Chris. Go on there, mate. Chris, you've done a brave. Yeah. So I failed a battle shock. Yep. On who, Chris? On the Wraith Guard. So yes. I can't do what I wanted, but I fell back anyway. So, uh, yep, that happened. So I'll be making some desperate escapes in a sec. You will, that's very exciting. What happened over here? So we, uh, I can't remember what it's called, the special... Skitter jump? Something Skitterly. Like skip and it's a, it's it's a not sca scaving yeah, thing Yeah, it's all. a scaving thing. Yeah, yeah. So we moved 24, we have grabbed your objective, and yep. we managed to stay out of sight of your purifiers. You did, and that is, and my strike squad, which gives you a lovely capture enemy outpost for eight points. Yeah. And then we moved our night spinner just up to see things. You did indeed. And yeah, so uh, we got six models in that unit. Yeah, let's come back in a sec and do desperate breakouts. I have six dice here. Six dice, so what are these, Chris? Ones and twos? Ones and twos. Yes, fail a battle shock and retreat from combat and lose, uh, lose two. two guys. Uh, do you get one back? Uh, I already returned him. Okay, all right. All right, man. In the command phase. Um, I'm not gonna rub salt in the wound in Overwatch because I, don't, I also don't think it would do enough. <laughs> yeah. So we'll go into my shooting phase. Yeah, what you got? Uh, we're going to start with the flamers over my uh, warp spiders because now, they might actually do something. If you couldn't get overwatched, you also can't see me. No, I can get overwatched by the... Purifiers. Oh, could you get overwatched yeah. by them? Oh, pants! Yeah, did you want to overwatch with them? Ah, oh, sod it, it's fine. Okay. Flame them, Chris. So 66 shots. Yep. Ha. Huh. Yep. So it's that still is... still going <laughs> Uh, that's 17. That's one off average. Don't give me that. Below average, I'm rolling awfully today. <laughs> what? Look, do you know what Tom would give to roll average, Chris? <laughs> He'd give his firstborn son. Sorry, George. <laughs> oh, well. We're wounding on fours. Yes. Six is it, Oh, your flame is only strength four, Chris. Yep. Oh, I get to reroll one of those. That's a lot of dev, though. But, but that Good is... Well, you're going to lose three at least. Mate, that's horrible. Oop, that was a uh, So you have that many saves with no AP whatsoever. Yeah, for two dudes that are left. Ridiculous. Well, you kill another one. I got one left. Cool. <laughs> Pants. Well, he's standing solid. He'll get you. And now we're going to shoot. Yes, what are you going to shoot today? We're going to shoot everything knight. at your Dread Knight. Leave him alone. What do we? Yeah, everything with the Dread Knight's group. We just want that Dread Knight dead. So, um, yeah, everything with the Dread Knight. Okay, so we're going to start off with the Doom Weaver. D6 plus three shots. Yep. For four. Yep. Uh, I might as well use my one CP, <laughs> right? God damn it. <laughs> well, For six. Whatever. Uh, we're hitting on three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We'll use our Eldar shenanigans. Oh. So we hit all the time. Whatever. We're strength seven. Yeah, against the Dreadmaster, a Grandmaster. He's toughness eight. Fives, so but fives. you're looking for sixes and your twin linked. Yep. Eek. So that's four wounds already. Some sixes. Yeah, two more. 
One more. <laughs> One more. It's like six damage. <laughs> He's on a wound. You got your shuriken cannon. Yep. Sustained hits. Gold. So we hit on threes. Sustained hits on sixes. Yeah, don't do it. Uh, we got one hit. Yep. That's enough, technically. We're strength six. Yeah, fives. <laughs> we wound. That's a minus one. Oh, it's gonna do it as well, isn't it? If I roll a three, my dread knight dies. <laughs> oh. Do you explode? <laughs> well, do I CP it? <laughs> oh, mate. Why, Christopher? Because I need to kill something. <laughs> Bring back, have like claw back some sort of dignity. I, I CP it. Don't roll another two, William. There you go. He's alive. He's on one wound. That's my CP gone. Okay. Okay. Are you going to tank shot me? On the, I've got no CP to do that. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. But on the charge phase, uh, capture enemy outpost is at the end of your phase. I know. Are you going to do a proper cheeky? <laughs> Chris, that's pretty jammy. You can do it. I'm going to try and charge with my warp spiders. All right, do it. And I'm also going to try and charge and take one wound off there. So first off, the warp spiders. I mean, they're in. They can do whatever they want with an 11. So we're going to make sure he is in. And then we're going to chain back. Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. I completely forgot I had Sigil of Exigence on the Grandmaster and Dreadnought armor all this time. What a <laughs> I could have just used it. That yeah. would have been amazing. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to charge him. Yeah, go on then. That makes Tank battle, go on then. So I strike first with everything. Tom, have I got a CP or two? Or none? Uh, I think you had one. You said you had none, but you, you had two. Yeah. You used one for things, you got one left. Okay, that's cool. All right, you on what spider? I'm killing him. Pants. So I hit on fours. Yep. I can reroll one because Eldar. Stop it. Uh, we are strength six, so five. Stop it. I can reroll one. No. And then I attack with my warp spider. Yeah. So we two got warp spiders, don't Two in range. Uh, let's start off with the one that actually might do it. So with we've got the, the Exarch at the front. Yeah. Who has power blades. And he's got two flamers. Yep. So he gets three attacks. Can you leave my dude alone? He hits on three. Has he got any AP on this just before we start? Uh, AP minus two. So I'll... I, I might pop a CP for true silver armor. Okay. So hitting you off threes with a reroll. Uh, with strength four. T4. Fours. Fours. With a reroll. That's cocked. And a reroll. All right. Two. So this is now minus one because of your three stupid upsides. shiny armor. Yeah. How many damage? One. All right. You got the dude next to him then. Yep. We have one attack. Oh no, two attacks with them. Oof. Hitting on threes. All right. Yeah, yeah. You used your reroll. Yep. I'll smack you back with my very brave lone uh, strike marine over there. He hits you two of the times. Yep. He wounds you one of the times. <laughs> Minus two. Ooh. Minus two. Minus two. Puts me on a five up save. Yeah. Yeah, great. Well done, Strike Marine. Can I hit you over here instead? Do you have to? Yes. Now okay. you're a vehicle, so I'm going to declare that I get to reroll all the things. Two, three, four, five. With the hammer. Ooh, this once per battle phase. Is that round, right? Uh, battle, yeah. Nope. Is it? Not once per battle, oh, one in every oh. fight phase. I thought it was battle rounds. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. But did I kill the avatar this? No, I didn't kill him this round. No, but in, earlier in the battle round, you did whack my. Uh, I did in my and turn. Chose re -rolls. Bear with us, pure. If you are still bearing with us. Once per, Once battle, per battle round. round. So you don't get your re rolls. It's the next battle round, isn't it? Nope. Still battle round three, second half. Pants. Yeah. All right. We'll hit on fours because we're bracketed. Good lad. Only two hits. Uh, we will wound you on both of those. Yeah. Minus four. Uh, minus three or minus four? Three. Thank you. Uh, six ups. Nope. D6 plus one each. How many damage? How many wounds has he got, Chris? Twelve. Double six. Nope, but that's, that's pretty enough. close. Oh, that is enough. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't explode. Ah, uh, if you'd exploded, you could have killed him. Oh. Well, that was a, a valiant charge, my friend. Yeah. It, it, it might have been the nail in the old coffin. 
I um, think that was struck many, many <laughs> times ago. <laughs> <laughs> What, uh, you, you scored some big points. I scored Capture Enemy Outpost for, uh, for eight. Yep. If I'd have killed a dude, you might actually not have. <laughs> nah, because I would have killed the XR. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> um, okay, good. So, so, we're going into turn four then, because you got Capture Enemy Outpost for eight. That's pretty good. Yeah. But you didn't get your other one? No. Okay. What, what are the scores, Tom? I, I'm getting 10 VP at the start of my turn. Uh, so 63 plays 18. Hmm. <laughs> Don't call it a comeback? No, I think, I think I should call it there. Very well done, Christopher. Well done. I think I can speak for all of us when I say good riddance to the Kill Chris sign. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'd like to uh, dedicate this one to Tom on the ones and twos, to Daniel, who was here for moral support for, not to Dave, because he didn't show up, <laughs> but Tom to on the all ones of and our- twos, which yeah, is all he rolls. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and to our lovely subscriber, of course, it has to be said. And uh, if you wanted to be thanked in that, you'd have to click subscribe down here somewhere. Give us a like if you like this. Uh, do give us a comment. Uh, I know we've got a few things wrong recently, but honestly, it's super handy when you do give us a comment, as long as you're not too nasty about it. Uh, and yeah, we will see you in the next one. Let us know if you want to see the Eldar again or if Chris is going to run away in shame and defeat and bring back out the Astra Militarum and kill all of us once again. Um, I don't know, I think you're too scared to face them. I absolutely am. <laughs> and you might have noticed that there's not that much uh, Will versus Astra Militarum on the channel. Uh, <laughs> but I can uh, sleep well tonight knowing that I finally conquered the Purple Menace. Your first win in a while, right? My first win in a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I tabled Dave twice. There's probably, I can probably remember to put a little link up there uh, and still lost. A couple of games ago, um, game gets to you off camera, I lost. Um, it's been quite a lot of losing, so this one feels good. This yeah. one feels all right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Christopher. Thank, Thank you very much for watching. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. There's some really good stuff coming up, honestly. So do make sure to give us a little thumbs up, a little subscribey, because uh, genuinely there's some, there's some good stuff coming. Yeah. See you then. Cool. Thanks everyone.